Hello friends, today we discuss about remainder theorem. It is remainder theorem. In this, let's say we have a expression of A cross B cross C and it is divided by n and you have to find out the remainder let's say when we divide a divided by n b divided by n and c divided by n for the given function if you solve this function it will also give you remainder you can uh, solve this expression by using first you have to multiply this then divide by this then you find out the remainder for example if we have expression 15 into 17 into 19 and it is divided by 7 and you have to find out the remainder of the given function so to so find out the remainder you have to first multiply for conventional method you have to first multiply 15 into 17 into 19 and then you have to divide by 7 and according to remainder theorem you have to first divide by 15 divide by 7 and we get 1 as a remainder and when we divide 17 divided by 7 when we, we got 3 as a remainder and when we divide 19 divided by 7 we got 5 as a remainder according to remainder theorem you have to let's say a n is the remainder when you divide a divided by n a divided by n and b n is the remainder when you divide b divided by n and c n is the remainder when you divide c divided by n so according to this you have to according to remainder theorem the remainder is equal to a n into b n into c n divided by n in this case in the particular example the 15 divided by 7 is 1 into 3 into 5 divided by 7 so over here it is 15 divided by 7 and our final remainder is 1 by 7 okay so this is how you can or you can say our remainder is 1 so this is how you can solve expression or how you can find out remainder quickly let's take another example let's we have 19 into 20 into 21 it is divided by 9 so in this case our remainder is first 18 over here when we divide 19 divided by 9 we got remainder 1 120 it is 2 121 it is 3 divided by 9 so over here in this case when you multiply it 6 by 9 but over here the remainder is 6 only you need not to cancel out this like 2 by 3 because we have to find out the remainder of this expression okay so in this case answer is 6 only okay so this is how you can find out the remainder using remainder theorem we have a observation over here from the mathematics let's we have a 5 at a uni unit place okay for example we have n 5 n may be any number between 1 to 9 and you have to find out the square of this function so when you have to find out the square of this function we have a formula that is n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 and over here at the 
this <coughs> unit place and the second place you just directly put 25 and this is also a place okay so for example if you find out the square of 15 okay so at unit place we have 5 so directly put 25 and apply this formula for this place so the formula is n into n plus 1 so in this case my n is 1 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 2 so i got the square of 15 2 2 5 let's another example let's we have to find out the square of 45 in this case just put 25 initially and for over here we have formula 4 into 4 plus 1 so it is 5 4 plus 1 so it is 4 into 5 20 so we got the square that's another example if you have to find out the square of 85 so just put 25 and over here it is 8 into 9 so we get 72 so this is our observation so this is all about today's lecture thank you